attending the Sixers' first pre-draft workout this spring, Isaiah Briscoe out of Kentucky. This has been busy for you. You were at the Combine going through workouts. How do you think things are going so far? Um, I think things are going well. You know, um, you know, I enjoy my time at Kentucky. You know, now I'm on to the um, next chapter in my life, you know, with the NBA, and I'm just at a happy point right now. You know, I can't complain. You know, thank God for putting me in this position. And, you know, just have fun with it. How exciting is that to know that you are – finally here on the cusp of this chapter that you've been striving for it's exciting you know as a kid it's something that i've always dreamed about and now i've worked hard and and i dedicated myself to turn it into a reality talk about your skill set in just a moment but something that came out at the end of the season was the fact that i think sports illustrated had you as an all glue guy uh in the country for leadership and that sort of thing how much pride do you take in that and is that something that you bring to the court in these workouts and try to show yeah, absolutely. And, you know, me being an older guy to those younger freshmen and, you know, and having the most experience, you know, everybody came and looked at me for advice and on the court. And, you know, me and coach just had you know, a great relationship. So I think that, you know, I had no choice but to be the leader. But that's also something that, you know, I've worked for and something that I think that I've earned. What type of bond did you and John Calipari form? How did he push you the two years you spent in Kentucky? Well, the first year he pushed me a lot, you know, I'm talking about nonstop. And the second year, too. But I think the second year it was more understanding, you know, I understood him more, so it wasn't as much, you know, going back and forth. It was just, you know, he'll give me his input, I'll give him his input, and then just go out on the court and play. Seems like there's a bunch of stuff that you can do. I mean, the numbers would suggest that versatility is a big part of your game. How much do you think that'll help you as you're auditioning for teams here? A lot. You know, um, I think that, you know, I bring a lot to the table, you know, not only scoring, passing, you know, playing defense, being a leader. I think that, you know, I bring a little bit of everything to the table. Remember at the Combine, you said pretty confidently that you feel like you're a point guard. That that's how you see your path going. What do you like about that position, and what do you feel lends yourself and your abilities to that spot? Um, I just feel like, you know, always vocal, you know, the leader of the team and, you know, ball dominant. I mean, who wouldn't like the ball in their hands? You know, you know, just playing point guard in the NBA, I think that I can come in, you know, whatever team picks him up, you know, I'll just try to come in and just contribute however I can. How does being around the number of talented players you had the experience of playing with the last two years. How do you think that that advanced your game? A lot, you know, and one thing it did teach me is how to play with other great players. That's an interesting, but you never think about that, yeah. that there's a whole big group of them. Uh, we saw one of them out there, Alex Poitras, finished up the season with the Sixers. What type of relationship do you have with Alex? Was it cool catching up with him? Yeah, you know, I was talking to him, you know, he was just asking how my workout is going and everything. I asked him, you know, is everything fine with you? You know, he's good. He's in good spirit. That's good. What's the biggest thing you want to show these final two and a half weeks leading up to the draft? You know, just that I belong in the NBA. All right, well put. Isaiah, thanks so much.